So we've had a number of questions about the uh, engine compartment on our 53 Chevy pickup here. So I thought I'd shoot another video uh, just showing some of the specifics. Uh, hopefully it'll answer some of the questions so people could see what we did. Um, obviously I was talking about the firewall when we first bought the truck. It was all hacked apart and everything. Um, you can see it is really clean. We just filled in all of the holes that were there, almost every hole. We did keep the original uh, hole for where the steering column comes out of. So that is there. And then one of the things we had to do was notch the frame. I'll see if I can get a close up view of that. So you could kind of see it down in there. We did put a little notch in there so that we can get that joint in uh, to get uh, clearance around the headers. These headers are the uh, block hugger headers and then we had to use the shorty plugs so that we could fit it inside the frame rail um, and give us clearance for everything else that we need down there. Um, so that was one of the things that we did. And then on this side, we used two of the original holes that were in the firewall um, and then created two more holes of the same size to get our heater and air conditioning lines in. So we just added those two extra holes and then on the inside, we put uh, 90 degree fittings that go up and under the dash to get up to the AC unit. So those are really the only holes that were left. Um, everything else, even the two holes that were in that center section that came out uh, to the inner fenders for the, uh, the braces, we removed those because obviously you can see we didn't use those braces. Um, if you have those braces, it does make aligning the front clip a little bit easier. Um, I wanted the engine compartment to be a little bit cleaner, so we just removed the braces and then, uh, and then uh, aligned everything that way. So there's that. You can see how we mounted. Let's see if I can get down in here. Some of the AC pieces. Um, really, there isn't a whole lot to it. The biggest issue we had, the small block that we use is from the late 60s. Um, you can see on the head here, there are no holes in it. So there's no mounting holes on the side of these heads. Um, yeah, right there. See it? There's nothing there. That was the biggest challenge because originally, we wanted, or at least I wanted to get the alternator um, and maybe even the AC uh, uh, compressor down lower, but there was really, there was, there's a lot of room in the engine compartment, but once you start putting all this stuff in there, um, width-wise because of the inner fenders, there's not as much room as you think, so we mounted them up higher, but we had to make a lot of these brackets. So luckily with the AC unit, um, it came with this, this bracket. You could kind of see it in there. Um, it came with that bracket, so we mounted that, and then we modified it to mount the alternator to it. So let's see if I can get down in here. You can see how we, we made that, uh, that other bracket to mount the alternator uh, to the other side of the, the bracket from the AC unit. Let me see if I can get behind it, and you can see a better picture of it or a better view of it. Because we did make, there we go, a little... Uh, support coming off the back of it and mounted it right there and then we made this piece see if I can get my hand down in here and hold the light in place um, we took this piece this is actually two different uh, uh, brackets and we welded them together to make one longer one so we go from the mount down here all the way up so that gives us our tension and then the 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 back part that i just showed you is the uh um the uh the solid mount for it so that's how we mount, mounted the alternator and then for the power steering pump it was a similar thing that we had to do um we used mounting holes that were or, uh, mounting locations that were further down on the block and then made a bracket I think you could buy a bracket that's very similar to this and then just modify it um, we had one and then I modified it and uh, and made that fit and then the same thing just took um, another one of uh, uh, of these types of adjustable pieces like for the alternator and mount and cut it and put it down in here so that we could get our tension uh, on that belt and mount that down in there um, and then you can see there's not a whole lot of room down in here for all the fittings, but uh, we did get it all to, uh, to fit just inside of everything. And then here's the back of the radiator with the fan and some of the other mounts that we put in. Did put a, uh, um, a uh, thermostat in here for the, uh, the fan, so that's what that little prong is right there it just senses the temperature of the uh, 
of the uh, fluid going through the radiator and then kicks the fan on and off accordingly instead of having the, uh, a toggle switch or having it just be on and off all the time. So there's that. Um, one of the other things that we had to do, if you're putting a 700R4 in it, I showed this I think in one of the other videos, um, the kit that we used uh, came with this mounting bracket. We had to modify it a little bit to give uh, the right clearance for the different cables uh, that we were putting in, but we did do that um, and, uh, and modified that. So that's the majority of the modifications we made to the engine compartment. Like I said, not a whole lot, just cleaning it up. Um, and then really it was mostly the brackets for the alternator and the power steering pump. Those did take quite a while to figure out. Um, so if you have any other questions about those, uh, let us know and, and we'll help you out uh, as best we can. Like I said, this AC unit was from Southern Air. Uh, vintage Air, I would assume, comes with a similar mount because I've seen other trucks with the Vintage Air system, so I would think you could do the same thing. Put the air conditioning mount in place and then make some brackets for your, uh, for your alternator to mount it up there if you want to put it there. Now, obviously, if you don't have power steering, you can put the alternator down low uh, and get it out of the way, but if, uh, if you have power steering, then you're probably going to have to mount it up like this. Uh, if you don't want to do any other major modifications. So if you have any other questions about the truck, let us know. We'll get some other videos out there. Um, or if there's something really specific here that you want to see in more detail, um, we will get that posted out there as well. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. And thanks for watching.